Hey guys, Kyle from Pirocchi.com here. I'm here with Devils forward Mike Camilleri. Uh, Mike, so who uh, that you've played with is the biggest gearhead, always needs the newest thing, trying everything out? I've played with a lot of them. A lot of uh, guys that'll sell themselves for the newest newest thing. They're always trying different stuff. But one cool thing I'll show you with the skates that I noticed. You had, you had these skates. It's a funny story. I played for a lot of years with Derek Armstrong in L.A. And Army was my roommate, and his tongues were like that. He used to wear his tongues out a lot like you have here. And I, I mean, they were even longer. He probably had even a couple more inches, so I guess if you tied it, his tongues would come out like right there. It was ridiculous. And I said to him one time, Army, like, what's with your tongues? Like, that's that's ridiculous to, to skate around like that. And he said, well, you never know if a puck hits me and I get an extra goal or assist be a year because a puck hits me in the tongue, I'll take what I can get. And I thought that was pretty funny by Army. <laughs> A guy who uh, always found a way to produce, and, and there you go. So, the arm dog and his tongues. <laughs> and then uh, another good story was Luke Robitaille. I got to play with uh, Luke, which was a great privilege, and he's one of the greats of our game. Um, and, uh, you know, you'd think a guy who scored as many goals as Luke had, how particular he was. But Luke would tape his stick, and I'm not exaggerating. It was, it was he taped his stick so sloppy that. Matthias Nordstrom would sometimes grab it from him and just retape it for him because he like in between periods because he was like I can't see that anymore and he would tape it like white black white or black white black depending on the game so period 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 so if he went black in the first and third he'd use white in the second and like if he used white in the first and third or all the way around so he was like every period it was a different color white or black and he'd literally you'd be in the locker with him and he's like this great and he's beside you and he'd be talking and he'd be like this, he'd be like, okay, yeah, we're going to try this in the power play. And he'd go, okay. And he'd tape it like this. He'd go like this. And that is how he would, uh, not exaggerating, and they, he'd just go like that. And he'd put it down. And, I, and he'd be like, is this guy serious? Is he for real? And he, he wasn't, I thought he was joking. And he'd go out there and score a goal like this. <laughs> Luke Robitaille. that. I think I, would, I think that would drive just OCD side of oh my, my nuts out of my I, I mind. I can't even look at that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be able to go on the ice. But yeah. Any other uh, any other funny stories playing? I or? guess that shows you it's it's uh, you know it's nice to have the tools, but the guy using them a lot of the time has a lot to do with it. My my dad used to tell me that Freddie Couples could hit it 300 yards with a broomstick, and so Luke <laughs> Robitaille could score with tape like that. So so all of us guys uh, guys blaming the stick, blaming the tape job. It really ain't, it's really not the thing. No, but that's the best play though. If you ever miss a shot. You know, anybody you ever get a good chance and you miss one, you always just give it this one. It's this. Uh, give it this one on the way back on the back check. Give it a little <laughs> head to be. Uh, uh, yeah, and then even if it's not broken, change it. Go back, change it, give it to the equipment guy, and make sure you change it. And everyone at least thinks you had a bad stick. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Mike. Guys, uh, check out the Pure Hockey YouTube page for more Gear Talk with the Pros videos.